let's quickly simplify this let's first of all put everything in the same base to base 3 okay now this is equal to square root of 9 is sentence as 3 to the power of 2 right raised to the power of 10 plus 3 to the power of 15 divided by 3 to the power of 2 raised to the power of 6 plus 3 to the power of 7 all right this square root now this is equal to the square root of when you have a to the power of m raised to the power of n just multiply the powers to get one power okay so we have m multiplied by n so that means we can re uh, rewrite this as square root of 3 2 times 10 is 20 3 to the power of 20 plus 3 to the power of 15 divided by 3 to the power of 12 plus 3 to the power of 7. Perfect. All right. Now, we have that this is equal to the square root of this 3 to the power of 20. We can write it as 3 to the power of 15 plus 5, right? Yes. Plus 3 to the power of 15 divided by 3 to the power of this 12 can be written as um, 7 plus 5 plus 3 to the power of 7. All right. Now, this is equal to the square root of... Also, there's this law of exponent that states that a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So we already have this in this form. That means we can write it in this form as 3 to the power of 15 multiplied by 3 to the power of 5. Okay? So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll write this as 3 to the power of 15 multiplied by 3 to the power of 5 plus 3 to the power of 15 divided by, the same thing applies to this one, 3 to the power of 7 multiplied by 3 to the power of 5 plus 3 to the power of 7. Before we continue, please, is the, if this is the first time you are seeing this face, please subscribe to the channel and on your notification bell, all right? So you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. And don't forget to like, comment, and share. Thank you so much. Now, we can write this as square root of... Now, we have 3 to the power of 15 and 3 to the power of 15, okay? So let's factorize that. If we do that, we have... 3 to the power of 15 bracket. When this is divided by this, we have 3 to the power of 5 left. Okay? Plus, when this is divided by itself, we have 1. Divided by, the same thing happens, we are going to factorize 3 to the power of 7 out. And when we do that, we will have this divided by this, we have 3 to the power of 5 remaining. Plus, this divided by itself, we have 1. All right. Now, when you look closely, you will notice that this and this are the same. So, they will do what? Cancel out. So, what we have left is what? Square root of 3 to the power of 15 divided by 3 to the power of 7. Now, this is equal to square root of, first of all, I want us to recall the law of exponent that says that a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m minus n. All right. So when you look at this, notice that this and this are the same base. So we can subtract the powers. Now, when we do that, we will have square root of what? 3 to the power of 15 minus 7. So this is equal to square root of 15 minus 7. We give us 8, right? So it's going to be 3 to the power of 8. Now, square root of x is equal to x raised to the power of half, okay? So we can rewrite this as what? Well. So this is equal to 3 to the power of 8 raised to the power of half. Now, recall that when you have two uh, powers as on a base, you multiply the powers together, right? So when two divide this, we have 4. So what we have is 3 to the power of 4, and 3 to the power of 4 is what? 81. And this is our final answer. Thank you so much for watching, and 
Have a lovely day.